No, I don't like that. Queensland Oh, oh Jesus! Oh, oh. <laughs> why would we do that? I just pooped my pants. Bugger off, Joby. Let me do my stuff. Yeah, no, it wasn't funny. <laughs> Newfoundland words spoken by Irish people. G'day guys, how's it going? My name is Ozzy Tash. We are back with another Canadian reaction video. This particular video was suggested to me by one of my members on Discord. Shout out to Newfie Tash, how you going? We're looking forward to this video, but before we do guys, please make sure to jump on, smash the subscribe button and hit the notification bell for all future live streams and videos. Okay, let's get into it. New Finland words spoken by Irish people. Let's go. Hi. This is Maxine Keown. I'm a historian. I'm from Tremor County, Waterford. This is my daughter, Tiger Lily. Hello. Tiger Lily is a musician and she also speaks the Irish language far better than I do. The Irish language? Today we're talking about Newfoundland words. Newfoundland words. Now you'll correct me as I get, as I get it wrong. Newfoundland words kind of, they've evolved as a mixture between the English language and the Irish language. Yes, very much so, yeah. The people who emigrated, yes. as far as we're concerned, the vast majority of all Irish Newfoundlanders mm -hmm. are from the southeast corner of Ireland. Waterford, Wexford, Kilkenny, Tipperary. There are a few from Dingle and Cork, but we're not even going to talk about them. <laughs> it's the southeast corner of Ireland that all Irish Newfoundlanders are from. Okay. And if you're not from those particular areas, you're not, not a real Newfoundlander Irish at all. <laughs> Anyhow, they all have right. this wonderful dictionary that they've dedicated to all the types of words. A but dictionary. for today's purposes, Tiger Lily's going to ask me some of these words and I don't know what she's going to ask me and I don't know <laughs> if I'm going to know any of them. But I'm going to give you a guess at their meaning. And I'm already thinking, if the words have origins, they won't have origins that might be like computer and technology. No. They'll have origins no, on very much. They're, cod, boats, yeah. food, drink, huge amount, yeah. family. You must remember, these are outports where only Irish people or English people would go. So therefore, they're, they're very distinctive of each area. I found words that are only used in a town, but the town that's five kilometres next to them won't use them at all. <laughs> um, really? Can I ask, is that because they're two different Irish communities? Oh, yes, definitely. All right. Oh, I have a word that is... Okay, so I have seen the Heritage Minutes episode that talks about um, when the Irish immigrated to Newfoundland and Canada and stuff like that. So obviously, you know, they brought, you know, their, their language to Newfoundland and it's all just merged together. But it's only spoken in certain towns and stuff like that. So they must have like their own different little languages and heaps of different towns and... Oh my gosh, this is really, really interesting. I'm going to have a, a guess and try and figure out what they're trying to say. And in the comments, mate, put in your Newfoundland words that might be in this video. Okay, let's get into it. I'm excited. It's from Lance Point, but people of Branch and St. Bright that are like five minutes away will not use it under any circumstances. <laughs> Okay, okay. Because they are of Wexford origin and they're not. <laughs> start, okay, start. <laughs> yeah, start. So I'm going to start off with the same. Hey. We should have a very good pronunciation because we are the southeast of Ireland. Maybe. Well, a lot of the words have changed. So, for example, in Irish, we have an old and a shore, which might be an old crippled man as they're getting older. And they have the exact same word, except we may pronounce the S's more. So there are slight differences, of course, but they have the exact same word. It's an Irish word, but they pronounce it just with less of a sibilant on the S. Okay. Okay. So... I also had to go through the dictionary very carefully because they have the exact same slang words as we do a lot of the times. So sleeveen. Yep. I had to make sure sleeveen. I didn't add in any of them. I had to double check do I know them or not. Can I guess what a sleeveen is? Yeah. Okay. What? If I was thinking historically about sleeveen, sleeveen is, sleeveen. I think somebody that might, uh, you know, kowtow to the landlord or someone well, like... I don't know. I, I never saw it as that in my life. We had this conversation before and I never saw it as that. And the people in Newfoundland don't portray it as that. It's someone who's... Kind of a rag taggle. A what? Kind of messy. Like a joker. So. More so, but that's how I always saw it. I never saw it as a schlieving, as someone menacing or up to no good. No, it was somebody Sleeve. who was kind of weak-willed, who could no. be persuaded. I like kind of, um, you know when you needed the strength of the boycott and how schlieving kind of got on with the landlord. Nah. They were doing it for their own benefit. That's what my interpretation is. And that's my interpretation, not that people of Newfoundland's interpretation anyway. Okay, okay. So, so we, have, we have differences. And I could be totally wrong with that too. I think yeah. <laughs> I was never a Slevina, I hope. A bogan, right? Yeah, a bogan. Or your type of Slevina. Anyway, um, I'm going to start with a saying. So, if I say, the best kind. I mean, it's your legend, mate. 
you said the best kind. The uh, same. Does that mean you like the you're best kind? It's a huge amount of saying, so I couldn't uh, leave the man. The best either. kind. Well, the best kind is obviously the, the best. They're very good at something. Uh, the best kind. Does it mean that somebody's kind? The best kind. Mm. Oh, heartwarming. The best kind, that would be like, mate, it's the best kind of, you know, the best kind of soup or the best kind of person or something like that. That's what I'm thinking. Um, Sleeven, I'm thinking that was a bogan. That sounded like it's a bogan to me, like a joker, a bit of an idiot, a bit of a clown. Um, I don't know. But, yeah, the best kind, you know, you'd say that's the best kind of, you're the best kind of person. You've got a big heart. You're the best kind of person. Or that's the best kind of soup, like you've got, you know, Minstroni soup, pumpkin soup, I don't know, pumpkin soup, the best kind of soup. I don't know. <laughs> that's, they're the best kind of person. Is that your answer? Yes. Okay. I'll tell you what the best kind is. So if you're having a meal and you're full to the brim, it tastes great. It's the best kind of meal you've had in a while. Oh, you'll okay. say, how is your meal? And then your answer would be the best kind. So really? it's the best meal you can have. Well, not to meal. It's the best anything you can have. It's the Ooh. best quality anything. The best kind. Is yeah. this you, so, Mr. Newfoundland? Daughter, you're the best kind. Oh, ah, go on. Oh, you sweetheart. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, so if I, another saying there, because it's just so cute. A time. A time. A time. An event, some, to, something to remember, something that was personal to the family. Stop, stop thinking in formal English. <laughs> <laughs> stop thinking in formal dictionary okay, English. Okay, okay, okay. okay this okay. is a time, Newfie, a time. Newfie Dictionary. Newfie Dictionary, love. Like once upon a time? Is that your answer? <laughs> an event. I have no idea. Okay, a time is an event. Having a blast? Okay, so a time is an event of sorts. So it'd be like a community dance after a harvest. So you see in Newfoundland, those ads for Newfoundland, they have the big dances, the group dances, the fiddles. There's always laughter and jokes. That's what a time is. Okay. It's to refer to one of those dances. Oh, it refers to a dance? Yeah, very much. What? So, did, like, did you have a good it's time? A party, yeah. Did, oh. you did you have a time? Did you have a time at the dance? What? <laughs> Did you have a time at the dance? Like, not a good time? Mate, I, I, I'm confused. Um, So, apparently, from what Tiger Lily is saying, is that she found, she sourced a dictionary, a New Finland word dictionary. I need to find this dictionary. Um, New Finland watches, I know we've got a couple. Um, Obviously, we've got um, Tash on the Rocks. New for girl, we've got Rock and Hound, who I'm pretty sure is in live chat. Um, are you agreeing with these um, idiomisms and words, these phrases? Are you familiar with these phrases? Do you use this terminology? In the comments, let me know. Have a good time at the time, yeah. Did you have a good time at the time? Yeah. A good in time mind. at the time. <laughs> <laughs> okay, next. Next, okay, one. next one. So the next word we have is just a word itself, it's not a saying, so it might be easier. Okay. And it's called chummy. Chum, what? Well, we'd often think of the word today, which an Anglicized word, your chum, your friend. Yeah, your chummy, friend. That's what friendly I reckon. Somebody. He's a friend. He's a friend. He's a close. Yes. That's what we a do. chummy is like how we use thing or yoke. So if you're fixing a bike and you want a wrench, you'd say, give me the, the and you can't think of the name, you'd say, give me the chummy. No. Give me the chummy. No. Like a yoke or a thing. <laughs> Surprised by that one? <laughs> I'm sorry, but when she just said, give me a chummy, that just went to a whole new... I, I was thinking it was a whole new thing. I'm not going to say what I think it was. <laughs> okay. Um, a chummy would be like, we're close, we're friends. In Australia, like, you know, we're chums. You know, we're friends, we're brothers, we're, we're pals. Um, give me a chummy, you're asking for some sort of tool, like a wrench or something. All right, okay, I... I, I never would have thought of that. <laughs> wow. Yeah, well, I suppose, you see, the, the language differs so much over over a considerable amount of time. <laughs> well, of course it does. Um, One more. Mm -hmm. So, this one is a, a saying. You'd use it more so. A saying. Not fit. Not fit. Well, we would say not fit for purpose. Yeah. I mean, something doesn't work properly. Yeah, but fit in that sense is kind of a, is a more modern word. Fit as in something too fit. Or he's fit. Yeah. Well, that's more <laughs> modern. That's more of a modern he is. Yeah. So totally what, 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 what was the word again and what was the saying? Not fit. Not you're fit. not up to the task. Well, you can't do fit. it. That's what I'm um, thinking. You can't do it. You're not it up doesn't to the work. Task. Doesn't work, yeah? No. It's when you have such bad weather in Newfoundland because their weather goes from what? amazingly hot to unbelievable cold that you can't go out at all. 
You're snowed in. The weather's not fit. Wow. Well, the weather's not fit. So you sit yeah. down and watch a movie in your boxer shorts because you don't know what to do because the weather's awful. The weather's not fit. <laughs> would you say the weather's not fit or would you just say it's not fit? It's no, not, you the fit, not fit. The okay. weather's not fit. Okay, give me some more. Okay, so it's not fit, mate. It's that cold. It's not fit. You're snowed in. But you can still watch a movie in your boxer shorts. Is are you, is boxer shorts the same thing? Are boxer shorts like, you know, the satin shorts that you sleep in of a night time? That's the same thing that I'm thinking. Um, wow. <laughs> not fit. Not fit, I would have assumed, would have been like, you're not fit. You're not up to scratch. It's broken. You can't do it. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, what are we thinking, guys? Um, this is interesting it's really really cool the the young girl tiger lily oh my gosh what a beautiful name i just love her i love the feel that she has i love the shirt she's wearing irish people just awesome awesome as well Ooh, someday in clothes someday, someday in clothes uh, uh cute, cute isn't it yeah <laughs> i heard something like this before that's close um, close when the rock when people of newfoundland they had so much wind there when they're dry drying their clothes someday in clothes. So it's someday for washing and drying oh, in front of the bed oh, oh, okay. okay. But because the, uh, the Newfoundland Irish and also I suppose the Newfoundland English of that origin are so great at sarcasm, yeah. it's yeah. also used in a reverse sense. So someday on clothes when it's pouring down rain and the weather's awful. Like we tell Someday on clothes, some, yeah. Someday I'm going to use that. <laughs> it's I'm not someday to get the clothes like Okay, give one. us another one. Now here's one of my all-time favorites. All right, gut foundered, gut foundered, gut foundered, gut foundered, gut foundered. Okay, so would that be like gut wrenching? Like you know, it's making you feel sick to the stomach. It's upset you. You know that that that's what I'm thinking. It might be like gut gut wrenching. Like really, really hard to swallow. It's broken you. It's upset you. It's made you sick. That's how, what, what I'm going to go with, with gut founded. We'll find out what it actually means. Gut founded. Well, yeah, I think gut something that got to do with fish. Gut founded. Oh, a fish! Gut founded. That's Is it? Gut founded. Gut founded. Gut founded. I have no idea. Hang on. Don't want to hang it. Gut founded. Gut founded. Um, gut founded. What is it? Something that could be made out of the innards of the waste of fish. <laughs> gut founded. Okay. Is that your answer? That's my answer. <laughs> Okay. Gut foundered is when you're so hungry that everything tastes great. What? So you know when you're so starving that a mashed potato tastes like a mashed potato yeah. from the best ground in all of Ireland with the best butter. Yeah. yeah. Mm. You so that's what gut would you, is. Would you say, so would you walk in the door and say, yeah, I'm gut foundered. I'm gut foundered. Oh, yeah, that's okay. exactly it is. And that's all including right. that, that I'm whatever I'm going to eat is going to be amazing. Yeah. Because I'm that hungry. I'm using so that. that 20 cents chocolate bar becomes a Belgian delicatessen chocolate yeah. bar. Eh? A piece of ham becomes from a fine butcher shop. All right. Yeah. yeah. Okay. What about a bit of cod? <laughs> All right. I'm definitely using gut founded. I love that word. I absolutely love it. I'm gut founded. That is going to be the title of this video. Gut founded. What does that mean? Oh my gosh. That went a completely different interpretation than what I thought it was going to be. <laughs> <laughs> more to the point of Newfoundland as opposed to Belgian chocolates. Only one more. You guys well, think um, we're weird with how we talk. I dies at you. I, I dies at you. I dies, I dies at, you. at you. Yeah, I'm giving it. I'm sorry, sorry. It's I like, don't make it I, I, I thought you were saying like, I thought it was like, I, I eyes at you. I, I dies at you. you. You got a crush? I'm dead. I did die. Mate, things are going crazy. You've got, I've got a crush on you. There's two, two, two know, comes to mind because I I'm biased towards Newfoundland and Newfoundlanders. I think all they can say is all nice things because that's all I've ever heard them say is all nice things. So I die at you could be like a threat, but I would say you're so beautiful, I <laughs> die at you. <laughs> Close, but not there. Oh. So I die at you is when you have such a heavy belly laugh that's not coming out through your <laughs> nose. You're crying with the laughter. And this person's a pure comedian. A what? pure comedic joy that you go, Jesus, I'm dying at you. I, I dies, dies at, at you. you. I dies at you. Oh, oh that makes cute no her. sense. It might have been cuter no if a guy said it to a girl, I dies at you because you're so beautiful. No, that's silly. Okay. No, <laughs> <I dies laughs> at you, God, your stereotypes are really there. <laughs> wow. Okay, one more. Okay. 
This is one I really love. It's very cute. Who knit you? Who, Who knit, knit you? you? Oh, okay, that's going to be easy. Yeah. Who knit you? You knit something. Okay. Who knit you? So that looks like it's a like knitting. K N I T. So who knit you? So I'm thinking if you're wearing like you know, a woolen sweater that someone's um, knitted and it looks really, really nice, someone's asking you who knit you? Who knit that sweater that you're wearing today? That that's where I'm gonna go with that. I don't know. I have no idea. <laughs> I'm gonna have to try and get me a hand on one of these dictionaries, eh? So I can read the words, get familiar with the comments, and walk it around and just confusing Aussies with these words, mate. The gut founded, meaning that you're hungry? I oh, don't know where that comes from. I have no idea. Can <laughs> you put something together? Who's your mum and who's your mother and father? That's what I'm saying. Just, oh! who, who, what, who are you of? It's kind of like that, but who it's not. It's you? kind of more so of who are your people in general. Okay. So I'm from Tremor County, Waterford, so I'd be a kiln. So they'd ask me. It's like asking who your grandparents, your great grandparents are, oh. and your whole extended family. Like what you'd still have today in Connemara. So, and places. you know, who's your people? We might say here, or, yeah. you know, who's your family? For them, right. it's, you know, who knit you. But if you get in trouble, they use it too. So if a kid falls in water or gets in a, a trouble at school, they say, go back to who knit you. <laughs> That's not very kind. Go back to who knit you. 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 One more for the road. This is one I love. All okay. right. So we all know what our hands are, right? Yeah. And we used to grab things at the end of our arms. Yeah. But they use the word hands in a very different way. Oh, my God. How do they use the word hands? Oh, I, I, I don't know. I have no idea. Hands on? Like you're really hands on? Like, you know, you're really close. You're, you're really getting into my face with your hands, maybe? Is that what hands is? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Wait, can you put in a sentence? I couldn't because then I give away the meaning. Oh, okay. Yeah, hands. Tools. Is that your answer? That's the answer. No. <laughs> <laughs> you got one right so far. <laughs> <laughs> I really spent a considerable amount of time in Newfoundland. I know all these words. <laughs> um, so hands. So she's a great hand at painting. I have a couple hands over. Oh, okay. So people. people. So you're a good hand at history. Oh, okay. <laughs> You're, so, well, actually, actually, to be honest, you're a good hand at music. Uh, but you do okay. use your hands. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Anyway, is that it then? There's far more. Do you want to go on? One more. <laughs> one more. She said okay. like one more about so five times, man. Now, this is one that is used almost all the time in the capital St. John's. It's not going to be used uh, okay. outside of it. Okay. And it's All right. So this particular one is used at St. John's. You guys know I love St. John's. I have just fallen in love with St. John's. I will go there one day, see those beautiful jelly bean houses, sit on those beautiful red chairs and look at an iceberg. I, I just cannot wait to do it. So... Mate, if I'm going to go to St. John's, I need to know how to talk the talk in St. John's. So let's see how I go with this one. <laughs> to twack. To or twacking. Twacking? To twack. To twack. Or twacking, as opposed to, to quack or quacking. I so to twack or to twacking. Twack. To twack. No, and to you said twack. it's in the commercial district, so it's in St. John's. Yes. To twack. What is to twack? Twacking. Twacking? Twacking. Is that going for like a jog? I don't know. I'm going for a twack. I'll be back in 15 minutes. I don't know. Am I going for a jog? Is that a dance? Twack? Doing this? Oh, I don't know. I'm lost. But I'm very excited to find out what twacking is because I am going to use this word. <laughs> oh, yeah. More so. So then that, that, that makes me think of buying something or doing something like that. It's twack or twacking. <laughs> Yeah, to track, to bargain, to to to, oh, to, to negotiate, to, to bargain, to negotiate, to, to track or tracking. You kind of got it right, but you kind of didn't in another oh, way. Okay, okay, go on then. <laughs> so to track is kind of a um, miserable way of 
not to go shopping, but to inquire about prices, to act like you're going to buy something. Ah, buy something. That really is tracking, isn't it? <laughs> we all do that, don't we? <laughs> we know yeah, shopping. Yeah, yeah, it's more so, yeah. But it's more Look so... Look at that bloody tracker. <laughs> not going to spend a tracking penny. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we'd call it like window shopping. That's what we'd call window shopping. So twacking is window shop. I'm going for a window shop. You know, you go and you have a look at things, you ask about the prices, and then you, you never have any intention to buy it. Um, twacking is a lot better. <laughs> Gone with window shopping. We're going to use the word twacking. All right, I'm good. I'm all set. I can go to St. John's and have me a twack. <laughs> <laughs> so um let me think do you want one more right right one, one more one. for the I road now all the time <laughs> one more for the road the time, you? i am actually it's very really um, good so this one is the one that i was talking about from lance point that is only used in lance point okay where's it's called lance smuddy point? point smuddy poo yeah smuddy, smuddy poo, poo. Right, smuddy it's a poo. Okay, is it, uh... now smuddy poo Where's Lance Point? Guys, in the comments on live stream, let me know where Lance Point is. Um, Smutty Po. Sm Muddy Po? I don't know. If you put another O on it, it'll be Smutty Poo, and that could be like a really runny poo. But Smutty Po? Oh, I've got no idea. No idea. Have... It, it, would you use it in fishing or farming? Yes, one of the two. Oh, okay. Can you get any more hints? No. <laughs> okay, a smuddy poo. It's, you use it on the land. It's like a hoe. Oh, what? my God, you're so close. No. no. Ah. <laughs> <What's that? laughs> a smuddy poo hoe, no. So, um, it's more so... <laughs> I'm lost. It's when you sow potatoes. Oh. That's kind of what I was thinking. What you said to sow. You said a plough. That's not sowing I said, potatoes. I said, I said a hoe. You know the way you use yeah, a hoe Yeah, it's not tool. the same. Kind of is. You're splitting hairs Fine, now. Fine, okay. You got two right. got two right. I am the champ. Anyway, I got two right. There's lots of words that sound like it's a smuddick, smithu in Irish. So you're wondering if it might have a... What do they mean in Irish? Well, they have completely different meanings, but you're wondering if the sounds may have came over instead. Yeah. So that the putting together of words. Because that can happen. <laughs> We're finished with the words of Newfoundland for well, now, aren't we? Unless anybody... I have a sequel. Oh, yeah, well, that's <laughs> anybody wants a sequel. Let us know. We're very happy to provide as many words as you'd like. Absolutely. Oh, my gosh. Get yourself to Newfoundland sometimes. You know, I, I love it. I've fallen in love with Newfoundland St. John's, so, yeah. Guys, what did you think about that? Are you familiar with some of these terms? Well, wow, there's so many that completely stumped me. The last one was a bit strange. Gut founded. I like that one. That's pretty cool. But yeah, I was way off trying to make any sense of any of those words and terminology and phrases and stuff like that. So yeah, guys watching from Newfoundland, let me know. Do you use different words? Do you use these words all the time? I'm really curious to know. Throw in some words that weren't used that you want to share. That would be really cool. But yeah. That was the video for today, guys. If you liked it, please jump on, smash the like button, leave a comment, and of course, remember to subscribe. That really helps me out. Cheers from down under. Take care. Bye.